Hello everyone. Today we are looking at the big update I made for my dragon. So here's my dragon in Unreal Engine and we're in a scene with all of the animations. So we'll hit play and we can look at all the different animations for the dragon. We can take a good look at the dragon itself. And we have different colors for the dragon, blue, green, a more reddish color too. So we have all the different animations you would need for a dragon, even dying and falling. There's the more red version. And we can pop out of this and look at the rest that I have for here. We're in the um, maps folder here and we have another map. It's the AI map. So I included uh, a basic AI system for the dragon. But we can look at some of the other things that are in here before we jump into that. It, all the materials, like I said, there's the original material, then there's a blue version, a green version, and a more redder or oranger version. Then we have five different eye color materials you can choose from. And then uh, the wings are separate separate map so those are the materials and their PBR materials and the textures are here and they're all uh, mostly 4k textures the eyes are 2k and I think the roughness is uh, kind of small yeah 128 because it's a solid roughness um, uh, but that's the textures um, and a PBR set, normals, roughness, and a metallic. So the dragon is slightly metallic. What else do we have in here? What I also included is a morph version of the mesh. So this is a version that you can morph um, different aspects of the dragon. So we could have, let me zoom in on the face here. We could have bigger eyes or smaller eyes. We could have bigger nostrils or smaller nostrils. Maybe make them big in the end here. And then a uh, bigger nose, a uh, bigger neck underneath. This is like the chin sag of the dragon. And then we have longer teeth. And the horns on the bottom, you can make them bigger or smaller. Uh, the horns across the brow can be bigger or smaller. The horns on top. The horns on the side. The head shape can be slightly different. Like a more rounded chin and a more less of a dip in the nose. Uh, what else can you do? A thicker neck. She can go... You can make the neck thicker. The spines across the back could be smaller or larger. Uh, we have some belly fat you could add. Like that. And then the muscles. I have a muscle morph where you can make them more muscular. And the tail thickness. But you can change different aspects of it. And I kind of have a system, too, I'll show when I show the AI system um, how that all kind of works. 
Uh, what do we want to jump into now? Uh, we looked at materials. Let's jump into the animations. And to kind of fill out the AI and everything else, I did add a few more animations. So this is one attack. This is the second attack where he kind of grabs the person and tosses them into the air. And then we have a swiping attack. And then a right-handed attack. And we have a blend space. This blend space goes along with the AI system. So he goes from run into walk. And then he stands up and he can move side to side. Just like that. So that's the blend space. Uh, dead animation. Then we have the death animation. And then we have a falling dead where he falls from the sky and splats on the ground. And this is the death of that in the sky. And then we have a falling animation. And then we have a fire breathing animation. Flying animation. Uh, fly down. And then a gliding animation. Glide down. A hovering animation. Then we have a landing animation. and a takeoff animation and then we have an animation to fly up then we have some hit react animations so hit react to the left hit react to the right uh, this is a, a transitional animation from idle to sit here we have an idle animation Idle 2, he kind of looks around a little. I think he licks his nose, too. And then here's one where he's sniffing on the ground. Uh, more relaxed idle. Looking to one side idle. And then looking to the other side. And we have a running animation for the dragon. Sit to idle transition. And we have the sitting animation. And then we have a sleeping animation. Turning. So turning left. Turning right. Then we have a walking animation. But that's a look at the animation for the dragon. And then that all gets implemented into the AI system. So this is a map that I have that shows off the AI system and how it works. And I can just hit play. This is a really big map here to give the dragons enough m room to move around but some of them are flying some of them decided to fly some of them are, are walking around and right now I have them set to be able I'm pretty sure I have them set to be able to see each other like those two those two just saw each other and they ran out ran at each other and tried to attack each other of course they missed uh, but this is all you know I kind of created this AI system there's one landing to uh, be able to test out the animations so I needed a system that used all the different animations that I'm including
and how they kind of work together. See, those two are kind of fighting each other right now. And then a third one just jumped in and one died. But they'll randomly, you know, fly like that one tried to chase the other one. Now he's running away. And this is all to test out the different animations in the dragon. But I'm also including it in the kit because, you know, why not? You can just drag and drop the NPC version of the dragon into your scene. And, um, you know, with a few options, you can change how they function. So, uh, if we look at one of the dragons in the scene, let's look at this one. Um, the dragon comes with not just the dragon, but also a landing point. This is where the dragon will always land. So you could take this landing point and move it anywhere in your scene. And then he flies up to a spline where you could adjust the spline in the scene or adjust the NPC uh, blueprint of the spline and make all the splines uh, slightly different. But that's kind of how they work. I'll, I'll show how the blueprints um, work. So here's the original blueprint for the dragon. And when you open this up on the right hand side, you'll see that there's a bunch of options that you can use. You can, let's say you need a scene where he's, you just need a dragon flying in the sky. Well, you can choose only flying and then he'll only fly in the sky. Okay, now you, as soon as, if you change anything in here, you'll need to hit compile again, okay? So these are just options that you can change for the dragon to fit your scene for what, whatever you might need. Okay, if you're making a game, I suggest, you know, you could use parts of this code, but um, I suggest you make it more efficient because, you know, I have a lot of options in here and this is for, um, to kind of handle as many use cases as, um, as possible, you know, so you could just drag and drop this dragon into your scene, choose one of these options and then you're off. So if you don't, only want flying you can also turn flying off so you know if you never want it want it to fly you can turn flying off you could turn deaths off so if you don't want if you have your own uh, combat system or whatever you can turn this one off so he never dies um you could have him only rest only laying on the ground and resting or you could turn sight off sight Turning sight off may, means they're not going to run at another object or um, animal or player. Um, and then there's a bunch of options below this you could change. I don't advise you to change like the walk and run speeds because those are kind of set to fit the dragon. <coughs> but you could adjust them if you wanted to. And then you have a walk radius, how far they would walk around energy, uh, your max energy, health, um, idle time, how long they might idle for, how long they fly in the sky, how long they stay dead, and how long they rest on the ground in their sleep. Uh, but that's most of the options that you should change. Everything else kind of is just for the system. Except for, there's another option. This is not the right one, but let me compile that. And when you get the dragon, uh, the settings, I'm going to have sight off and death off automatically. So if you want to use those or play around with that, you can turn those on, um, uncheck these um, if you want to. So let me show um, the morph version. So there's a morph version of the blueprint. Now the blueprint um, for most of the dragons are all the same. So the blue version of the dragon, the green version, uh, the orange version, and then we have a morph version. But the morph version is slightly different. We'll look at that real quick. Uh, the 
in order to kind of show the morphs in the game, the morph options you choose, there's one special bit of code in the blueprint to handle um, the setting of the morphs. Okay. Now let's take a little bit deeper dive into the morph version. So the morph version has all these dials like I showed you. Um, uh, but these correspond to a number. So whatever number you would set for this that goes between negative one and one, you would put into that blueprint. So let me go back to the blueprint, the morph version of the blueprint. And in this version of the blueprint, there is a set of um, parameters for the morphs right there. And you can set these to different numbers like I've done here. And that will change the look of the, of the dragon in the scene. And I do have a morph version in this scene. I believe it is this one. So this one should look slightly different. Yep, that's the morph one. Then the rest of the dragons, that's the one that just took off and flew. Um, so we're not going to see him right away. Let's stop the scene and play it again. And he didn't fly. Okay, good. So this is the morphed version. And he should have different... Oh, he sees me, so he's running at me and chasing me. So he should look slightly different than the other dragons, though. But that's um, what you get with my dragons. Maybe I should... So, so here is the NPC version that you would drop into your scene. So I can drop him into the scene. For whatever reason, he ends up being below the ground. So you might want to lift him up a little bit. So there's the dragon. Uh, maybe I want to set him off to the side. And then I could rotate him in the scene. There we go. Uh, and then I could change different versions. Like I could move this um, uh, landing point on him. I could move it over here. And I could also go up to the... Um, make sure I'm still on the same one yep and I could move the spline points around to change the path of his flight and so now that I have the this version in the scene I could also go into this version here and go into the blueprint and now I could change which dragon I want to use. Right now it's using the default blueprint dragon. So now I can go in and let's say I want it to be the blue dragon. Or I want it to be the morph dragon. So this is a morph that the morph version that's set up. So that's um, kind of how you change your dragon using the MPC version that you drag in. Uh, but that's uh, basically how the dragon works. So that's uh, my dragon in Unreal Engine. Have a good one, everyone.